definitely, it was exciting. My whole girl up to it and leading up to it too. So it's something that, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn it for nothing. And um, I'm definitely open to the, to the rematch and uh, hopefully it'll be at 154 pounds. All right. Let me see how you gonna take a punch to the to the chair. Let me see how you gonna take a punch to the body. I'm ready to show everybody why I am the biggest, the big fish, you know, strap season man down, everybody know that. The great digger too. Yep, you heard that right. The biggest welterweight clash of the year is getting ready for round two, and Errol is spilling all the beans about it. So without further ado, let's get into all the details of when we'll get to see this epic clash on our screens again. I'm sure you remember how Errol and Terence's first meeting in the ring sent the entire boxing world into a frenzy, and you can only imagine what the second will do. Errol and Terence both stepped into the ring undefeated, but only Bud was able to keep the title by the end of the night. Fans have been hoping for Spence Jr. to get a chance at redemption, and it looks like their biggest wish is coming true. The contract had a rematch clause, and our guy Spence has just activated it. Fans knew a rematch was on the way, but let's be honest, no one saw it coming this soon. Oh yeah, I'm talking about a fight before 2023 ends. Spence Jr. is ready to avenge his loss, and this time he's going to come more prepared than ever. I mean, this time there's going to be even more pressure on him. Come on, getting a brutal beating by Bud once is one thing, but two times? That's really going to ruin his record like no other. But hey, this time he's getting all the help he needs. Errol's coming in with a game plan, he didn't just activate the rematch clause to lose again. Now, Errol is taking notes on everything that went wrong when he put on gloves against Terrence the first time. And guess who he's getting help from? If you guessed boxing legend Floyd Mayweather, you're absolutely right. Yep, he's getting tips from the best of the best. It's Mayweather, and he sure knows a thing or two about boxing, doesn't he? Oh, who are we kidding? He's the freaking best. Even though Money Mayweather retired a couple of years ago, he never really left the ring, so he's still fresh. Now get this, Floyd's always been Team Errol, and he even sparred with the boxer prior to his fight with Bud. But of course, Errol's in deeper waters than just sparring with the pro. He needs serious help, and Floyd's giving it to him. Here's the thing, Errol's current head trainer is Derek James. And don't get me wrong, he's really good at his job. But get this, he was seriously lacking ringside when Errol was getting beaten brutally by Terrence, and he could have really used some words of advice or useful instructions. Now, if it were Floyd instead, you and I both know he would have given Errol some advice that would have helped him come out on top. Mayweather's got a lot going on, you know, with his exhibition matches and all, so it's hard to think of him taking the time out to become Errol's main coach, but him as a secondary coach can also do a lot of great things for the boxer. Errol just needs someone to show him the way. He's got it all, a powerful punch, an unorthodox style, a crazy gas tank, so he can really come through. I just hope Terrence knows he's in for a surprise with the rematch. Oh yeah, it's going to be nothing like their first fight. Even Mayweather sent him a brutal warning. Oh yeah, with Mayweather backing him up, Errol's going to be dangerous in the ring, and things can really go the other way this time. Plus, you know, nothing fuels fighters quite like the hunger for redemption. And Errol's got a 15-year career on the line here. Fans were expecting the first fight to be competitive, but Terrence shocked the whole fight world to its core when he came out on top easily. So if you're one of the fans who wanted a dramatic and competitive fight, hold your breath because you might get it all in the rematch. Floyd has already given Errol some sound advice. The pro boxer said Errol should move up to 160 or 168 pounds. He said 154 isn't enough of a move up in weight for Spence to be at full strength at 100%, and he's speaking the truth. Now, of course, Terrence can't cut down that much, so they'll have to fight at a compromise weight again. So Errol needs to find some other way, and with Floyd on his side, it won't be that hard. I hope you're ready to clear your schedule, because this fight is going to be on our screen soon. Terrence was eyeing a fight with the winner of Canelo Alvarez versus Jermel Charlo, and he was hoping it was going to be Alvarez. Don't we all think that? No matter who comes out on top, this one's going to be epic, and it's already making all the buzz in the fight world. Bud had big plans, and his goals were set straight. He told UFC commentator Joe Rogan that he wanted to be the three-time undisputed champion, and stepping in the ring with the winner of Alvarez versus Charlo was the way to be. But now that Spence Jr. has activated the rematch clause, 
Terence has turned his head back to him, and he's going to walk in even more confident in the ring this time. I hope he isn't overconfident. We all know he absolutely destroyed Errol in the ring, but it's a stretch to think he'll do that again, especially because Errol's giving it his all now. The boxing world knows what went wrong in the first fight, and it was just that Errol didn't train enough. Maybe he underestimated who he was going against, but he knows it all now, and he's coming prepared. Terence, on the other hand, may feel like light work to him, and that's one reason why many fighters who win the first fight don't win the rematch. It's the overconfidence, baby. But Errol is still an easier opponent than Alvarez, and Alvarez is taking shots at Terence for ducking a fight with him. Let's be honest, Canelo Alvarez didn't even want to walk in the ring with Terence before his epic win against Errol. He wasn't all that into boxing before that. Yes, he was undefeated, but his choice of opponents raised a lot of eyebrows in the fight world. That win against Errol really put him up there as one of the best welterweight boxers out there, and it piqued Canelo's interest. I mean, come on, Terence was calling him out in every public appearance, so of course it was going to catch his eye. Alvarez wasn't in it at all at first, and he even mocked Bud for it. Cinnamon said, he just won one big fight. If you see his record, see his resume. He's beaten one good fighter, Errol Spence. Other than that, I don't think he's beaten other great fighters like Spence. But let's be honest, it started growing on him, and he was ready to start negotiations for this one. But too bad, Bud's all caught up in the rematch now. Terrence versus Canelo would have made all the buzz, but I guess we'll see it next year. Apart from Canelo, everyone's anticipating the rematch. But guess who else has jumped on the same bandwagon? It's Jermel Charlo. Oh yeah, he started taking shots at Terence when he called out Canelo for a fight. I guess he didn't like that Terence didn't even mention him. Crawford was pretty clear about who he wanted to fight, and Jermel didn't make the cut at all. Now he's on the same boat with Canelo when it comes to judging Terence's record. Yeah, he also thinks Bud has no impressive fights on his record apart from his win against Errol. There are no lies, though. Terence is making his way up there, but he needs that one fight to really put him up there. He has started to make headlines with Canelo Alvarez and Jermel Charlo, so things are going great, but he needs more. And this guy is 35 years old, so he doesn't have much time left. It's funny that his career just started when most fighters retire, but there's no age for passion, right? Well, in fighting, there is. Once father time catches up to you, you start getting sluggish. You don't heal from injuries as quickly and so on. So, you know, there isn't a lot of time left. But he looks like he's going to end his career on a good note, and that's if he comes through in the rematch. Because, let's be honest, I don't know about you, but I don't think Jermel Charlo and Canelo Alvarez would want to fight him if he loses to Errol. I think they'll fix their focus on Errol instead. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Clear your schedule out for the rematch because it's going to be epic. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like this video, comment on it, and share it. I'll be back with more news, and until then, peace out.